uh, let us uh, discuss control and coordination in plants. Students, do you think plants have a nervous system? Just think whether plants have a brain or do they have neurons? No. Plants do not have nervous system. Plants do not have nerve cells or neurons. Then, how the process of control and coordination takes place in plants? In plants, there are certain chemical substances which help in the process of control and coordination. In plants, there are some chemical substances which brings about control and coordination. These plant substances are called plant hormones or phytohormones or plant growth regulators. So in plants, there are certain chemical substances which brings about control and coordination. This plant, this chemical substances are called plant hormones or plant growth regulators. Basically, primarily, there are five different types of plant hormones. So let us see plant hormones. Okay, basically, there are five plant hormones. Number one, auxins. Auxins. Okay. Number two, gibberellins. Gibberellins. Third, cytokine. Cytokines. Then, fourth, Abscessic acid. Abscessic acid or abbreviated as ABA. And the fifth one is ethylene. Okay, ethylene or ethylene. Out of these five plant hormones, the first three. are called growth promoters growth promoters because they promote growth they help in growth and development of the plant body the last two hormones the abscessic acid and ethylene they are called growth inhibitors because they inhibit growth or they stop growth but these two hormones are very important for the growth and development of the plant from the physiological point of view of the plant because abscessic acid and ethylene helps in fruit ripening seed maturity, the dormancy of seed, so they play a very important role in plant physiology. So in plant, the control and coordination is brought about by certain chemical substances and these chemical substances are called plant hormones or plant growth regulators plant growth regulators plant hormones or plant growth regulators so they are the five types auxins, gibberellins, cytokines, abscessic acid and ethylene out of these five the first three 
that is alzines, gibberellins, and cytokines. They promote growth, so that's why they are known as growth promoters. They help in growth and development of the plant body. Whereas abscisicates and apilin, they help in fruit ripening, maturity of seed. So that's why they are called as growth inhibitors. Now, students, in plants, okay, there occur two types of movements. Plants also they show certain kind of movements. Okay, in plants there are two types of movements. Number one, okay, movement, movement independent of growth. Okay, we will discuss movement independent of growth and the second one is movement movement dependent of growth okay movement independent of growth movement dependent of growth now students You might have come across a plant called touch me not plant. Touch me not plant. Mimosa species. Now this plant, when we touch this plant, it droops. It droops. Now that immediate response to touch why it is happening or how it is happening they don't have any neurons or nervous system but this touch in a plant or mimosa species it responds to touch now what happens in this plant this is a leguminous plant and it has got a swollen leaf base. Now what happens when the stimuli, when the plant is touched, what happens? It results in the change in the target pressure of the cells, which leads to shrinking of the cells inside because water moves out of the cell and the shrinking of the protoplasm takes place inside which shows that drooping movement. Okay? The immediate response to stimulus in plants like mimosa is due to the change in the target pressure which results due to swelling or shrinking of the cells either due to loss of water or due to gain, gain of water. This one. And next, movement dependent on growth. There are various kinds of movements dependent on growth. For example, photo, phototropism. Phototropism. It is a kind of movement in which plant growth takes place towards the source of light. Or for example, we can say that suit is suit of the plant is positively phototropic. So it shows phototropism. Movement of plant or growth of plant towards the source of light is called phototropism. Okay, so example, almost all the plants they tend to move towards the sunlight because sunlight is one of the important factors necessary for photosynthesis in plants so they tend to capture maximum energy, maximum light so movement of plant towards the source of light is called phototropism next let us see geotropism geotropism 